Hi guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. Beauty by Nisi here. If this is your very first time, welcome to the Nisi fam. Hi, how are you? Are you guys stuck at home? Cause it's um coronavirus season and everybody is stuck at home. Like whatever is going on in Italy is scary, guys. So please, please, please take care of yourselves. So in today's video, we're gonna review uh Uma Beauty Black Magic eyeshadow palette if you guys are interested keep watching oh and I created three different looks in this video so you guys will get a chance to see how versatile and how much you can do with this palette if you guys are interested as I said earlier please make sure that you watch all the way to the end so this is the palette this is the Oma Beauty black magic carnival palette this palette comes in a sleeve like this very beautiful artwork um, so when you slide it out, the card and the palette have the same um, design, if you guys can see it. And at the back of the card, you have your ingredients. For those of you guys who are more interested in the ingredients, you have them um, back here. This is the palette. Um, it looks quite durable. So at the back, I'm just reading that it is 10 grams and it is good for 24 months. This was made in Italy. You open it. It comes with the protector, the plastic protector. It comes with that. This is not flimsy. This is really um, hard. So it could be a good like fan if you don't have a fan and you need to dry your stuff up. But this is the palette. So there's a total of 10 shades. There's five shimmers on the top and uh, five mattes at the bottom. So what I'm gonna quickly do is do swatches and then we'll just move along. So I'm gonna start from this part and then we're gonna go across. So the first is Barranquilla. Sounds like tequila, but that is that. Next is Mardi Gras. Is this focusing at all? Okay, cool. The next is ba Bahia. And then the next one is Trinidad. Gonna see, let's focus. Cool. So that is that. The next shade is Tenor. Okay, I cannot say the name, so I'll just put it on the screen. As a matter of fact, I'll put all the shades that I just told you guys on the screen. So that is, these are the shades, these are the shimmers. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reserve my um, comments to the end of the video. So if you guys wanna know how the swatches went, um, and every other thing you have to wait till the end of the video to find out. So for my mats, we're starting with Notting Hill Orange, Barbados Yellow, Rio Fuchsia Pink, Oruro is a brown, and then the last one is Ma. Okay, I can't say that one. Let me put that right here on the top. So these are the matte shades. Okay, so we're gonna quickly get the eyes done for the first look. Okay, so now that we are a lot closer, let's see what we can do. Uh, my concealer is a little bit patchy, so let's fix that. You don't want that to affect the performance of the shadows. Still patchy though.
All right, guys, so real quick, we know that we're on the third look right now using the Oma Beauty Black Magic Carnival palette now. If, as you can tell, I have done purple, I have done a uh, deep uh, brown, I can't get the color out. We've done deep brown. I am now gearing towards this green. I want to create like a green look for the final look. That's why I have this shirt on. Hopefully it works out. But as you can tell, I don't have a lot of green transition colors in here. So I'm going to go off the uh, plan a little bit and get help with the greens because I cannot just put this on my lid. Just put this green color on my lid. So, which is this one. I think I've not shown you guys either. This green, I cannot just put that on my lid. So I'm gonna get a little help with either other palettes or this deep green pencil from Sephora. So I'm gonna start off with this yellow. I'm gonna start off with that. You can tell this yellow shows on my skin and I'm very happy about it because usually yellow and dark skin don't work together so we're gonna go in to make the corners deeper with this Sephora easy smoky eye um, did I take the shimmer one this shouldn't be the shimmer one but this is the pencil okay and then when you swatch it this is how the color looks it's a really uh, deep forest green. So we're gonna use that in the corner to deepen it. Like so, hopefully I don't mess this up. I think I probably need like a Okay, so the eyes are done. I am gonna quickly um, get my face done and then we will conclude this video. By the way, if you guys wanna see how I get the base done, it will be on my Instagram. Make sure that you're following me, Beauty by Being Easy. I will have video of the skin on Instagram. All right, guys welcome back so this is the finished look once again if you guys want to see how i did this base go over to my instagram and it will be there so real quick you guys can tell that this palette is really versatile like when i saw it i saw that they promoted it with um jackie Ina and patrick star and i knew it was gonna be good this palette is really buttery creamy like the mattes blend easily i believe i used every single one of the mattes i'm just checking it to make sure these shades at the bottom i believe that i used every single one of them they blended really really nice now the shimmers i used every single one beside bara barranquilla which is this reddish um shimmer that is the only one i didn't use i used all of these and you guys saw the swatches you guys saw how it blended with the first second and even this look and everything looks good my only thing is these colors are really bright and of course they go with the theme of the palette which is carnival they are really bright like even these um, mattes down here they are super bright and pigmented so if you guys want like a very subtle look you might want to use even when you use this you might not want to dip your brush in it too much because they are really pigmented and 
um they are for like bold colorful looks so guys that is it really i will recommend this palette like honestly it is a good one very bright very colorful so when it comes to the price point honestly uh it is pretty up there like i was saying earlier adding up everything was about 50 dollars which this palette honestly it, it's pretty high but the quality is really good the palette is durable it's hard of course it's compact i actually thought that it was going to be a lot bigger when i saw it online but still it does look really good so if you guys are interested whilst you're quarantined because um when i started filming this look like the first look i filmed it like three weeks ago <laughs> and a lot has happened in march so at this point everybody's home right now so if you guys are interested in getting a palette like this you should get it because it's a really good one so guys that is it let me know if you enjoy videos like this when i use just one palette to create different looks and um anytime that i get a new palette i will do the same all right guys thank you so much for watching i really do appreciate you subscribe if you haven't hit the notification bell make sure that you follow me on social media to check out all other uh videos that i create with the same products that i show you here thank you guys and i'll see you in my next one